What's up guys, Sammy here, and today I've got a review of the Jaybird X4 wireless in-ear sport headphones. So the Jaybird X4 features Bluetooth 4.1 with an approximate range of 10 meters, a playtime of 8 hours and a charging time of 2 hours. In the box you'll find a carrying pouch with an assortment of ear tips, foam tips and ear fins to help with comfort. You'll also find a shirt clip if you prefer instead of the speed cinch. Charging is done through that USB charging cradle, which simply clicks into place on the back of the Jaybird X4 remote with these pins. The headphones are also sweat and IPX7 waterproof, which is important in those times in the rain. And the whole experience of setting up and listening to music is pretty straightforward. After installing the Jaybird app for either iOS or Android, the app will guide you through pairing and setting up the headphones for the first time. It'll also guide you through the right fitment for your ears, and this part of the process may take a little while, but it's an important step. Once you've completed those steps, you can start playing your music. Something nice in the app is being able to change the equalizer, and you can install community-made equalizer presets to change the way that you listen to music. Personally, I found the signature sound equalizer preset to sound best, where it provided the right amount of quality in terms of clarity of sound, bass and overall volume. And that's something different about these headphones where I can't give a concrete answer in terms of how they sound. Whilst the remote functions as a microphone, it also has volume controls and powering on and off the headphones. If you hold down the button for a few seconds, it will also launch Google Assistant, which is a nice feature. For someone who recently got back into the gym, I knew that music would be a big motivator for me. Ultimately though, I didn't want something too bulky or uncomfortable to wear whilst training, and it makes a lot of sense, however, the Jaybird X4s are not perfect. I did find choosing the right ear tips and ear fins to be a bit more of a timely process of getting the right fit, and even then, I'm not sure I would call it comfortable in comparison to regular in-ear headphones, but to each their own. At the end of the day though, I didn't find the Jaybird X4s were falling out of my ear when walking or running, and I'll continue to use them for the gym and walking. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for my review of the Jaybird X4 wireless in-ear sport headphones. A special thanks to Jaybird for sending these out for review. Please note that all the opinions in this video are my own, and nobody saw the video before it was published. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to find out when I publish new videos to the channel. But yeah, hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.